exemption for medical stuff. And what are your thoughts for con on the current bill to remove the exemption, removing parental medical decision making based on religious beliefs? The issue to me is the, seems to me, uh, the, the issue to me seems to be uh, more the intrusion into family affairs by government. Uh, we, we hear of some of these. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it depends on whether it's a family that's trying to avoid medical treatment or uh, vaccinations. So either side of the of the equation there, but the question is, should government be intruding once, no, no, the camel's nose in the tent, once it's begun, it's so difficult to stop. So the line has gotta be drawn, just as I mentioned earlier, before the intrusion occurs. So I'm gonna stick with the uh, exemption. I'm gonna uh, insist that the families should be the first to make the determination for healthcare or anything within their family, and if we allow this to become a, uh, a community issue, then before you know it, the village will be forcing their will on the family. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, uh, you mentioned a bill. I'm not familiar with that bill, so I don't know anything about it other than I do support parental rights in just about everything. So um, I would stand up for uh, the parents' decision in these cases. Well, Mona, are you here? <laughs> that was all I had. Was that uh, having parents have the right to refuse to let their kids get vaccinated? That is, um, I'm not familiar with it. Yeah. Um, re re this bill is supposed to remove parental medical decision making based on religion. In other words, if parents have a religious reason for not wanting medical care. So, get rid of the bill. I think this yeah. is what we have called in the past the faith healing bill. And in the Senate, there were two different uh, attempts over two different years, maybe it was three, uh, to find a compromise with the faith healing community and the medical community. And because it's such a slippery slope once you start down that road. Many of the kids in the faith healing community are not well anyway and would not have survived with even with treatment and so it is it is a very complicated and difficult dis, um, situation and in the senate the bill didn't even get uh, put into the process because it was such a um, sensitive and complicated issue and we could, never could get the people who were working, it wasn't my bill, but the people working with the faith healing community could never get consensus. So we just left it alone. <laughs>